All right, everyone, welcome to the week 15 NFL picks. Week 15 here, it's a Wednesday, you know how we do. Every Wednesday or Thursday, go over these games, make some predictions, and pick some winners. So everyone's off their bye week. Um, all 32 teams are playing, so let's start off with Thursday Night Football uh, in two days. Or tomorrow, whatever. San Francisco heading to Seattle. Seattle with a loss at home versus Carolina. San Francisco comes off of a big time win with Brock Purdy over Tampa Bay. Give me the San Francisco 49ers in their second matchup versus Seattle this season. These two teams played back in week two and they pretty much handled the Seahawks. It's hard to pick the uh, Seahawks right now coming off that nasty loss versus Carolina. So give me the Niners to keep rolling. I think their defense is just uh, too much. Tough defense. Um, on to we actually have a pretty decent variety of um, days in which football is on this week so next game Saturday December 17th starting off at 1 o'clock Indianapolis heading to Minnesota for a out of conference matchup Indianapolis comes off of a bye week Minnesota comes off of a loss versus Detroit I, I'm i going to go with Minnesota here. Indianapolis has a pretty decent defense, but Matt Ryan, that offense, they just can't really score, and I don't think they're going to be able to keep up with Kirk Cousins, that offense, in Minnesota. So going to Minnesota with the win. On to the next game, 4-30. AFC North matchup, Baltimore going to Cleveland. Baltimore comes off of a win over Pittsburgh, 16-14 to last Sunday. Todd Huntley did get hurt. I think he's in concussion protocol. Um, since we do these on Wednesday, it's really hard to get a gate to. It's really hard to get a good idea of who is going to be playing because the injury reports, you know, go all the way up until Friday, and or Saturday, f even for some games. So Cleveland comes off of a loss in Deshaun Watson's second game back versus Cincinnati. Um, they just couldn't really score, to be honest with you. So it's a good matchup. Um, I'm not sure if these two teams have played this season. To be honest with you, I don't remember. Um, but I do like Baltimore in this game, especially if they get Huntley back. Uh, it's a close game. This is going to be a close game. Baltimore and Cleveland, these games are always usually pretty close. But I like Baltimore to keep rolling, to be honest with you. So it's going to be Baltimore. Nasty close. Kind of score, though. Um, Saturday night football, Miami on the road going to Buffalo. Miami comes off of that loss versus the Chargers. A game really in which two will played pretty bad. Played awful. And Buffalo with just, um, you know, a, a good win for them at home versus the Jets. Nasty weather. They got about 20-ish points. And Buffalo's defense played pretty good, so... To be honest with you, I like Buffalo to win at home. They did lose the Dolphins way early in the season, but it's hard seeing Miami going on the road, cold, snowy weather, and uh, I just don't think they're built for this type of. They're not built for this type of game. So give me Buffalo here to keep rolling. On to the Sunday one, the Sunday games, starting off one o'clock. Atlanta heading to New Orleans. For a division matchup, Atlanta and New Orleans played week one way earlier this year. New Orleans comes out with a very close win. I think Atlanta gets back at him this time and comes out with a win. Next matchup, Pittsburgh going to Carolina. Um, I forgot to mention... Atlanta, New Orleans were on bye weeks last week as well, so they've had some time to prepare for this matchup. Heading to the next game, Pittsburgh going to Carolina. Pittsburgh coming off a loss versus the Ravens. Carolina with a win on the road at Seattle. I think this would be a really close, low-scoring game. Sam Donald is going to be playing versus, I don't know who our quarterback is going to be this week. Tomlin said if Kenny Pickett does clear concussion protocol, he will be the man to play. Um, but they also announced today that 
uh, Mitch Trubisky and Mason Rudolph split first team reps, which we'll I might record a video later diving and what I what my thoughts are on all that shit. But I do believe this is a winnable game. But Carolina has looked pretty decent. You know, if we don't turn the ball over here, I feel like we'll win. I know that you can say that for every game, but really on this one, um, Floyd, that's really key here. So, I know this is hypocritical, I mean hypocritical, but playing both sides here. If we get Kenny Pickett, I think we'll win this game, but if he don't play, we're not going to win. That's where I'm. That's where I'm at with that shit. Um, Philadelphia versus Chicago. Oh man, what a this game's gonna be a an absolute blowout. I mean, come on, Chicago. What? I think they were in a bye. Were they in a bye week? I think they were in a bye week last week. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember who they play. I don't remember what happened with them last week, but. Philadelphia comes off of a big time division win. I mean, 40 some points, you know, versus the division rival is unprecedented. I mean, usually division games are tough, a little bit closer, but when you can really do that to, you know, your your division opponent, that's pretty big, especially this late into the year. This is a pretty winnable game for the Eagles, and I'm going to pick them to win this game. You know, Justin Fields is going to make some plays. You know, that's just inevitable. But ultimately, they won't be able to handle the Eagles offense. So, give me Philly in that one. 31-10. Kansas City heading to Houston. Kansas City comes off of a pretty interesting win over the Broncos. Um, and the Houston Texans could have beaten Cowboys. The beaten Cowboys last weekend. Had they scored there in fourth and goal, but um, you know, Dallas then gets the ball back, goes down, gets a game-winning drive for a touchdown. So Houston has, you know, pulled off some fights down to the wire with some good teams, but um, still, I, I just kind of pick Kansas City here. I mean, who's not going to pick the Chiefs here? So yeah, give me Kansas City. Dallas heading to Jacksonville. Dallas with, like we just mentioned, a very, you know, close win for them, you know, down to the wire. It's a win, but, you know, this late into the season, you want to be playing probably, you know, better than that still. Um, Jacksonville comes off of a big time win versus the Tennessee Titans. Trevor Lawrence played really good. Is this the uh, real Trevor Lawrence we've all been waiting for? You know, let, let's let's wait and see. I, you know, I feel like this game is going to be very similar to last week for Dallas. You know, I think Trevor Lawrence is probably going to play pretty decent. It's going to be up to that defense to kind of hold them in this game. If I'm being honest with you, we know Dak throws at least two interceptions a game. So, you know, maybe if they can score some touchdowns off those turnovers, they can hang in this game. But... I like Dallas still with the win. Detroit on the road versus the New York Jets. Detroit comes off of a big win over the Minnesota Vikings. Um, and the Jets with a loss on the road to Buffalo. You know, I'm picking Detroit here. Since they were like 1-7, 1-6, they've won 6 of 7 games. Um, they've been very competitive this year. And honestly, I'm pretty happy for Detroit because they deserve it, man. They've been a bad team for a long time. And it's nice to finally see some new blood in, in the NFL. It's finally nice to see some new teams. So, you know, I hope Detroit goes and wins. So give me Detroit versus the Jets. <clears throat> My apologies. One second. Uh, heading on to the 4 o'clock games, 405. Arizona heading to Denver for a West show up. AFC West, NFC West. Um, Kyle Murray, unfortunately, suffered a torn ACL this past Monday night versus New England on like the third play of the game that that was that really sucked seeing that hopefully he hopefully he uh you know recovers and can play somewhat next season 
You know, most ACL surgeries and the whole process, the rehab, the whole process is about a year. Earliest six ish, seven ish months, but you know, at least he got his money. So, um, Denver comes off of a, you know, honestly, probably the best I've seen them play all year. You know, if Russell Wilson doesn't get hurt, I feel like they probably win that game. You know, they got three interceptions and they were getting their ass kicked. And then all of a sudden they started coming back. As soon as Mahomes threw that interception, momentum switched. So, Dumper really hung in there, but ultimately the Chiefs just put up too much point. They put up too many points. So, you know, I, I guess I'm going to go with Denver on this one just because um, their defense will keep them in the game. It's just going to be up to, you know, if Russell Wilson's back or if he's back or not. I just don't really like the Cardinals with Colt McCoy. You know, they kind of – they were able to kind of move the ball last week, but at the same time, Colt McCoy is just – it's just Colt McCoy, so not bad, but he's just not, I don't know. But, yeah, give me Denver in that one. Probably a lower scoring type of game, you know, as it's been all year for both teams. Stupid wind. Um, New England, New England heading to Las Vegas for a uh, big game for both teams, you know, to keep remaining in the playoff contention. Patriots with the win on Monday night over the Cardinals. Raiders with a loss on Thursday night football. You know, I'm picking the Patriots here. You know, I, I just, their car ain't it for me. And the Raiders just ain't it. Patriots, you know, I don't know if Rahama Dre Stevenson's back or not. He did get hurt last week. Man, there was a lot of injuries last weekend. I ain't gonna lie, man. This sucks. So many injuries. Give me the Patriots with the win. Um, Bill Belichick versus Josh McDaniels, former uh, coordinator versus former uh, versus head coach. So, give me the Patriots. Tennessee head on the road to Los Angeles Chargers. Um, listen, Tennessee has one of the worst offenses in the league. Chargers finally got all their weapons back. And they finally all left healthy for the first time. Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Eckler, and uh, Herbert played great. Uh, let, Herbert played phenomenal last Sunday night. I ain't gonna lie. He made some throws where it's just like, what, what, the, what's this dude on, man? That 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 uh that throw to Keenan Allen the flat with the DB right there was just perfect. A per perfect positioning, you know. Um. But with the Chargers finally healthy, I like them to win this game. I feel like they'll put a little bit too much pressure on the Titans' defense, which has a very questionable secondary. And, you know, kind of the Titans, they are just a runny, grimy, you know. They want to keep the game. They want to slow the game down. They want to live with the, the king, a.k.a. Derrick Henry. They want to let him control the game and the flow. And the problem is with that, I mean, even he had a good game, but he fumbled last week, and the Jaguars just put too many points up. And when you're in a situation where you have to pass the ball, like Tennessee was, they just don't got no weapons. I mean, Traylon Burks got hurt against the Eagles. I don't even think he played last week. Robert Woods is a little bit of an older veteran receiver, but the Titans just offense. This there's no there's not much of an offense here, so that's why I like the Chargers in this game. Herbert's a beast, you know, a little bit. His line needs to protect better though. That line is atrocious. So give me the Chargers. On to the last four o'clock game of the uh, this week. Uh, Cincinnati heading to Tampa Bay. Cincinnati with a, another good win for them. Uh, Joe Burrow finally beat Cleveland. Kudos to him. Burrow's been playing real great the past five weeks. I think he's got like nine touchdowns, four interceptions. You know, that's Burrow for you. It's pretty good. I can't even, I can't even lie. I really can't. So, Tampa Bay with a very bad loss on the road in San Francisco. You know, I picked Tampa Bay to lose, but I didn't think it'd be that bad. Brady looked atrocious. Yeah, you know, I just knew they'd lose. Um. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm probably going to pick the Bengals again, to be honest with you. I don't know if T. Higgins is going to play. He did get hurt last week. Um, you know, it's really going to be the question of can the Bucks' offense get going? Brady didn't look too good. Their defense didn't play too good either. They just didn't play good as a team. Cincinnati's got a solid defense. Trey Hendrickson, you know, Logan Wilson's pretty okay. Jesse Bates is pretty solid. And they just play solid, they just play solid defense, you know. So I like the Bengals in this one. It's just hard to pick the Bucks right now. So give me the Bengals to keep rolling and go to 10 and 4. Heading to the Sunday night game, New York Giants versus Washington. Another division matchup here. These two teams did just play two weeks ago. Then they're on a bye week. And now here we are again playing again. They uh, last time they played was a tie. Um hmm. this game, this game did get flexed to the Sunday night game, so I don't remember what it was before. But regardless. I am going to pick the Washington Commanders. Since the Giants started out with a great record of 5-1, they finished like two. They've had like two wins and like five L's. So they've they've they faded down the stretch. Saquon played last week, but he got shut down. He's hurt with a, a neck injury. It's just hard to pick the Giants right now. It's just not, there's just not much of an offense there. And Washington, I like honestly, I, I think Taylor Heineke's pretty decent. They got a decent run game with Antonio Gibson and uh, Robinson. Got some decent weapons on McLaurin. Curtis Ng was okay, and then Jahan Dotson's pretty all right, too. So give me Washington with, uh, eh, probably a one score type of win, 2013. And for the final game of the week, Los Angeles Rams heading to Green Bay for a Monday Night Football matchup. Um... When they originally made these schedules, I don't blame them because this game probably looked better on paper, you know, Super Bowl champs versus NFC's number one seed. But, man, now we're looking at Baker Mayfield hanging the road to the MVP's house, Aaron Rodgers. Um, could Baker pull another upset here? Maybe. Maybe, but I don't see it. I like Green Bay here to win at home. Uh, I mean, the Rams' defense played okay last. They played pretty solid last week. But I feel like um, I feel like Green Bay is just going to put up 20 points here for the Rams to really win this. So, give me Green Bay here with uh, with a win. And that'll do it for week 15 NFL picks. Your boy's out. And uh, everybody have a good Wednesday and a good rest of your week. Peace.